Opening with a song called 1944 that details the forced deportation of Tatars from the Crimean Peninsula. They come to your house, they kill you all and say we're not guilty. The world's first Crimea platform isn't pulling any punches. Initiated by Kiev, the summit aims to peacefully return the Crimean Peninsula to Ukrainian control after it was seized by the Kremlin in 2014. The Crimean platform needs to become the focal point for making all key decisions on the Crimea. And today we are officially announcing the countdown to the time when the Crimea will be deoccupied. But to do this, Zelensky acknowledged that the Kremlin would have to come to the negotiation table. And while the summit drew representatives from dozens of countries, including the EU and NATO, Vladimir Putin was absent. Instead, he attended Russia's International Army Games. The forum wants to ratchet up pressure on Moscow, including with the coordination of effective international sanctions and helping the region to overcome the economic impact of the takeover. I am here to reaffirm the EU's unwavering stance. We do not and will not recognize the illegal annexation of Crimea and Sevastopol by Russia. Ahead of the summit, Zelensky held talks with German Chancellor Angela Merkel to secure assurances that Ukraine will not suffer from the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline, which will export gas from Russia to Europe but bypass Ukraine.